Hello, I am Dan Sample with the Genealogy and Local History Department. Today, for our first Genealogy Minute, I will be talking about scanning apps. If you're like me, you have boxes of photographs and documents that you keep meaning to digitize, but either never get to it, or you start and haven't been able to finish. Right now, with everything going on, it seems like the perfect time to begin such a project. If you don't have access to a scanner at home, there are a lot of good scanning apps available for both Apple and Android devices. I use Photoscan by Google, but there are many other apps available. What I like about Photoscan is that it's free, it's easy to use, if you have a Google account it automatically backs up to cloud storage, and it's easy to share on social media. Once you download the app and start scanning, Photoscan has you take one scan, and then it'll display a circle and four dots on the image. You move the circle over the dots, and it takes four separate scans. It does this to reduce glare. And with this image, I had the light overhead on, and you can see it does make a glare on the photo. After the four other snaps, and then all the pictures are combined, the glare is gone. So for me, the extra steps are worth it for getting a better quality picture. And usually I have to take more than one picture anyway. The first one sometimes will come out blurry or not quite lined up. So I'll need to redo it again anyway. So it doesn't seem to really add any steps. When you have the open app, at the bottom of the screen you'll see what looks like lightning bolt and what looks like a wand. This is used to turn the flash and the glare removal off and on. So far, I find the results better with both of those on, but it's good to experiment, especially if you find yourself in different settings, in a darker room, in direct sunlight. Just play around with it and just see what works best. Some other apps do let you label the photo, add a note or a watermark to the scan, but unfortunately PhotoScan does not do this. So this motivates me to upload it to my computer as soon as I can and then add any notations or notes later. Thank you for joining me for the inaccurately named Genealogy Minute. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. Or if you have any topic or topics you would like to see covered in the future, just let me know and I'll try to get something together. Thank you.